Welcome back folks. This is video two. This is Eric from Eric Hepperly Designs. Uh, in the first video we explained to you how, or I guess I explained to you uh, my framework for how I have my JavaScript um, file, skeleton file, already set up. Now we're going to go ahead and populate um, and we'll add code and figure out what code is going to go in the main section. So if you didn't watch the first video, go back and watch that. Um, but basically what we're trying to do here is we're, I'm having you follow me as I go through the process of figuring out um, what I, what I want to get from the DOM. In this case, I'm going through, I'm grabbing all the uh, script tags that have a source property. The reason I'm doing that is from the source property, I can tell the SRC property, I can tell uh, what plugins are probably installed. And this is a WordPress website I'm using as a tester, but this should work on any website that has script tags, which is pretty much all of them. So without further ado, here we go. So the first thing we'll do is grab all script tags. I'm using ES6, and so what we're going to do, now I don't understand all the let and, and stuff like that that they introduced in ES6, so I'm just using var. But uh, And this may not be absolute best practices, but this just demonstrates to potential employers that I know what ES6 is and I can get around it and make things with it. All right. So grab all script tags. So what we're going to do is we're going to do var script, and I'm going to say blocks. I could, I'll just say tags equals, and we'll do document dot query selector all. That allows us to grab all script tags. There's another one that's similar. It's query document dot query selector. And that will only get the very first instance of uh, the selector. Now, in this case, we want to go script, OK? So I'll put script in there. I'll save it. Make sure we put our good punctuation on the end. Even though it's not required for JavaScript, it's just good practice. Uh, and then I'll go over here, and we'll drop it in. Control paste into the thing and we'll see what we get. Okay. So now I should be able to type in script tags. Script tags not defined. Okay. Our script tags. Select all script. Hmm. Okay. So in this case, what we'll do is I'll just do it in here. Document. Now, if we know this is a WordPress website, we know we can use jQuery. So jQuery script. Oh, I guess jQuery is not defined in the view source. So let's get out of the view source and let's go into the actual program and try it here. Maybe that's what we need to do. So let's do jQuery script. Boom, boom. Perfect. All right. So we know that uh, the script tags are found. And like I said, we're not going to use jQuery. We're going to do this with the S6. So I'll paste that code once again. And I'll do script, script. Tags, uncaught reference not defined. Okay. Script tags, document queries. All right. So what if I just put that in there? Script tags. Now it's defined. So for some reason, when I put it in the main function, oh, I know why. I'll just take the var off. I bet it'll work. Watch. And I always use console.clear in my scripts to get rid of what was there beforehand. So 
we'll go in there, pop it in, and then script tags, perfect. All right, and just to be sure, we could do script tags equals, and see that's going to be a node list, which is like an array, right? So maybe do like this, and then try it out. Okay, so script tags is blank. So if I copy and run that code again, and then run script tags again, you can see that it is repopulating. Cool. So let me click here, and we'll get to see, first of all, this number, 60, tells us we have 60 script tags. If we go down, it should go to index number 59. Yep, you can see right here, that's number 59, because in JavaScript, everything starts with a zero. Zero is the first number. All right, so let me go to the second script and see what we got. Uh, okay, so base URI. Mm -hmm. We're looking for maybe inner HTML. No, maybe inner text. No, but we do know we're looking for the source, right? SRC, boom, there it is, perfect. So now what we're gonna do, since we know we're getting the right tags, we actually can um, use an advanced uh, complex selector, the script source equals and then maybe star, make source equal to anything. Believe that'll work. Might not work. We'll know soon enough. All right, let's try it. Now let's see. Okay, so script tags. Now we're getting a node list. And now that didn't work. Let's see. So source equals HTTP start. Mm, no, that's not. Okay. So to do a complex selector and to say uh, something contains part of something, you say star equals in your CSS selector. So I'm going to say the source property of the script tags that I, I want to grab have HTTP in it. Okay. So let's see if that works. Perfect. And now you can see, whereas before I was getting all script tags and it was having uh, 60 items, now I only have 34. And if I go to, let's just go to a different one than the one we went to before. We'll see what's the source value. That's got a source. Okay. So every one that I select, since I'm using this con uh, complex selector, should have a source property. This will make it a lot more efficient. Okay. So now we're going to loop through. All right. So what this is grabbing is a node list. And to tell ES6 that we want the node list to be treated like an array, we can use this dot, 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 uh, which is called the spread operator. Or we can use um, array from. For our purposes, we're just going to use the spread operator. So we'll do, where is it at? Script tags. Script tags. And this is just so that I can use for each. I love PHP and I love the for each function. So when they introduced for each in, into JavaScript, I was all for it. And uh, in jQuery, this is mimics the jQuery each method. So we're going to for each and then we're going to uh, declare an anonymous function 
and we'll say tag and then we'll put a counter make sure to put that uh, parentheses end bracket on there okay and now let's just console.log each tag make sure we're working okay so we go here and nothing undefined that undefined is always is you always get that at the end of a running something in the console source 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 perfect excellent all right so that's part one we've grabbed all the source tags stay tuned i'm sorry part two <laughs> stay tuned for part three where we go through and we um, store the source tags in an object or an array i'm not sure yet and then we We'll go ahead and do something with it and format it for a good output. So kind of like make a view if you're familiar with MVC. Thanks for watching.